All right. Well, now, we, uh, we're going to move on because we have one final segment for you today, and it's really a good one. Uh, and this is something we like to do um, where we have Tech Corners with a guest in the, in the office with us here in the studio. Dirk is now making his way over to our Tech Corner set where he's going to be joined by Jeff Cope, CEO of Inspection Expert. And together, the two of them are going to look at Inspection Expert on demand for CAD. So take it away, guys. Okay, thanks, Mike. And as he said, I'm here with Jeff Cope of Inspection Expert. Jeff, thanks for joining us. So, uh, thanks for having me, Dirk. This is really <coughs> a, a, a productivity tool, I guess, for people who uh, are creating um, inspection instructions. Is that absolutely? It's a it's a productivity tool <coughs> that enables quality planners to create quality inspection plans and inspection documents for uh, for doing inspections to make sure that the products that have been manufactured have been manufactured to specification. And this might be, uh, the person who might use this software would be what, a, uh, an engineer or a quality manager or, or something to, to give instructions for their inspectors, that sort of thing? Sure, great question. So depending on the size of the company, it could be used, uh, if it's a small company, it could be a <clears throat> the inspector. Uh, if it's a larger company, they may have dedicated uh, quality engineers or even quality planners for really large companies, people who do nothing but create the quality checklist for the inspectors and operators. Okay, uh, why don't you show us how it works? Absolutely. So um, uh, Inspection Expert On Demand for CAD is a, uh, uh, a smart client, so it's launched from the web. Uh, it runs on your local machine, um, but it does so without requiring any sort of installation whatsoever uh, by IT which means any user uh, in, within your company at any time from any machine uh, can ge generate a quality inspection uh, uh, program uh, right away. Okay, and you're saying this is connected. Uh, this is connected to the to the cloud or over so, the internet or what? Right. So it's it's launched from the web, but it runs on the local user's machine. So you've got. Um, you know, historically, you've had thick client and thin client. Thick client would be something that would run on the user's local machine and install on the user's local machine, but it required the administrator uh, support. Uh, the thin client would be something that runs on the cloud and processed on the server using cloud resources. Uh, what we have is a smart client, which is really the best of both. So it, 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 you have the minimal overhead of the thin client, but you're able to app, uh, access the local machines, CPU, and resources, okay. so you get the best of both. Okay. All right, so what I have here is a 3D model uh, generated from Katia. Okay. Um, Katia is a very common uh, uh, 3D CAD application uh, used in aerospace, automotive, and many other industries. Um, you know, Boeing uh, is starting to send out 3D models to their suppliers. Uh, it's very common. So uh, this is, uh, like I said, 3D model from Katia. Uh, we support other CAD formats, uh, Katia 2D, uh, AutoCAD 2D, uh, as well as uh, we have plans to support a Pro Engineer and NX and uh, many other formats in the near future. But basically, uh, I have a, a series of uh, dimensions and tolerances uh, on the model, notes, uh, material and process specifications, things that uh, have to be paid close attention to by the uh, machinist making the product, but also need to be uh, paid close attention to by the inspectors okay. to make sure that they got everything. And so what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm just going to click on, on this and tell Inspection Expert to extract all of the annotations. And now I'm going to export this to a uh, quality inspection checklist. Uh, I'm going to choose uh, an AS9102 checklist, which is a, a very uh, common uh, for aerospace. Actually, before, before you do sure. that, quick question. So you brought in this CAD draw and you clicked one button and it recognized what, it automatically recognized what were specifications on the drawing. That's right. The, okay. the expected uh, the expected values, the, okay. the nominals. Okay, the nominals. Okay. That's right. And so all of the expected values are put into this, uh, this form, in this case the aerospace AS9102 form. Um, so the expected value, like the nominal value, plus the allowable tolerance range, because you know if a dimension is supposed to be, uh, I'll try to stick with SI units here, okay. 25 <laughs> millimeters. Uh, usually there's a tolerance range, so you know plus five or minus five. So which means anywhere between 20 millimeters and 30 millimeters is acceptable, even okay. though the nominal is 25. So our software not only captures the nominal, but also all the allowable tolerances and does all these calculations automatically or automagically as we say okay, in software yes. uh, so that the uh, inspector doesn't have to do that. Um, so it not only does it save time but it reduces errors. And this particular uh, drawing 
or actually 3D model, had 171 inspection characteristics. Okay. So it's 171 things that the quality planner would have to go through and verify one at a time to make sure that they got them all in their checklist. And you know, for a 3D model like this with 171 characteristics, that would typically take someone using a manual process all day. Right. It'd be an right. eight-hour process, and I think it took me you know, even with lots of talking, uh, four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 exactly. <laughs> with, yeah. With, yeah, with yeah. In a room by myself, in a cubicle, you know, uh, probably two minutes. Right. And, uh, and I can also generate a 3D PDF file uh, with the, uh, with the uh, all of the 3D uh, geometry and annotations. And, and the benefit of this is uh, those 3D CAD models that are sent out by the, the large OEMs uh, for inspection, they all require the expensive CAD licenses. Sure. Some of the CAD licenses are as much as $10,000 uh, a user just to be able to open up and read a model like this with the uh, PMI, the product okay. manufacturing information. Right. Um, you have to train, the companies have to train the quality people on how to use the CAD system to just to be able to open a model and, and balloon the print and extract the characteristics. So with our software, uh, the only things in there are things that a quality planner would care about. They open the 3D model and then they generate a 3D PDF which can be viewed and open on pretty much any machine. It, uh, you know, I, I challenge you to find a right. computer without Adobe Acrobat right. in this day and age. Now suppose, suppose you have kind of a, a, a low-tech company or a low-tech vendor and uh, they want to work from paper. I mean, can you export this as just a regular, uh, some of the dimensions is, is a 2D, you know, like a, just a regular PDF file and print Absolutely. it out or that sort of thing? I mean, Absolutely. Okay. For, for the Luddites, we have a, uh, a, a two, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, that's pejorative. Uh, for people who want to work from paper, we have... That's uh, Mr. Luddite. Too. Mr. Luddite, yeah. Is, is there a NIST character for that? Uh, yeah, Mr. Luddite, yeah. Mr. Luddite, that, that would be yeah. me, yeah. So uh, if I click the button here, I can also export a 2D PDF. Uh, which has all of the same capture information, and uh, you know, and it's all in there, so you can print it up and have a paper copy on your uh, on your on your desktop. Okay. Now, um, I, I didn't. Did does this collect a, if it's on the CAD drawing GD and T data as as well? Absolutely. So okay. if you see here, the uh, the GD and Ts are captured right in the uh, you know and exported to Excel as well. Um, so. Yeah, so we have parallelism, uh, true position, okay, uh, and, and even we do some intelligent processing. So for um, so for uh, surface uh, profile profile of the surface, for instance, uh, the tolerance might be ten thousandths uh, of an inch. I'm going to be bad and use uh, imperial right, units, right, right, right. But but the, the, that would mean the tolerances would be five thousandths into the surface and five thousandths out of the surface. So uh, we would actually calculate that. So oh, the, okay. some of the GD and T knowledge that might be required. Um, by someone creating this plan is, is no longer necessary. It's going to it's going to create. It's, it's telling them exactly what they need. That's yeah. right. The intelligence yeah. is in the application. Now. Okay. All right. Um, and going going back to the CAD drawing. Um, so can you can you annotate can you annotate this at all? Besides, I see these are numbered. But could you re write little text notes for the inspector or that that sort of thing? Uh, useful stuff for them. Absolutely. Okay. I can I can add notes. Uh, I can add dimensions. Uh, if, you know, if, if I have a limited dimension drawing, uh, I can add dimensions uh, myself, uh, notes, uh, instructions, things like that okay. as well. And I can import my CMM results. A very common use case is a uh, company, uh, so the quality planner does the quality plan. They, they balloon the print because they have to do this. Uh, the FAA requires it um, in medical device. Lots of different industries require uh, this uh, uh, uniquely identifying of all the characteristics and then generating the, the report. But then the actual inspection is oftentimes done on a CMM because it can, you know, they can uh, inspect down to the micron sure, yeah. and, uh, and, and, uh, and quickly. And so now they have a problem where the, you know, the dimensions on the print are numbered one way, but the CMM report is out, outputting uh, the dimensions in a totally different order. Okay. Our software can marry the two and, and basically give you a, a perfectly uh, formatted uh, inspection report with all the CMM results numbered and presented in the format that's required by whatever the, the, the governing uh, standard body is. Okay, all right, got it. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're saying, uh, so, so kind, kind of in a nutshell, you bring in a CAD drawing. Does it have to be a CAD drawing? Can you bring in a, a, a like a, just a, a, a PDF or a scan and annotate it. I obviously Absolutely. wouldn't do the extraction. But Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So, so for instance, I'm glad you asked that. So we have uh, 
<clears throat> we have uh, what's called optical character recognition. Oh, okay. So you and can read just a, yes. a scan. Okay. So right here, if I wanted to, uh, let me uh, delete this one. So not only can we read the scan, but we can uh, we can go in and uh, uh, basically extract based on uh, yeah OCR or optical okay. character recognition. So it's that's basically a picture of a of a note. And you can still use an optical character recognition. You can still pick up the the characteristics. I'm assuming if it doesn't read them right, you can edit it and, and uh, that's that, right. that sort of thing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we we try to minimize that. Yeah, but uh, but. It, Worst case, if you have maybe a hand-drawn print, well, yeah. some people still or, have... Or a, a poor scan of, if it would happen to be a scanned drawing, right. exactly. Faxed okay. at 100 DPI or something <laughs> right, exactly. like that, and they right. ate their breakfast on it. Yeah. Okay, so so what we have here is, is you bring in your drawing, electronic or scanned drawing, some, some electronically. It automatically creates uh, all of the... Uh, a table with all the dimensions that you need, uh, the nominal dimensions that you need to measure to, and plus or minus, and everything else, all the GD and T data translated into actual um, dimensions that people need to know. Um, and then you would give that document either electronically or via paper to the inspector. Absolutely. And then whether it's being done CMM or an uh, operator with a micrometer, you can fill out a re uh, you can fill out an inspection report and bring it back in, and then inspection expert will compare the two. Sure, I'll show you. Okay. So, uh, for instance, if I want to bring in a CMM file, um, I can import uh, a CMM file. This one's from PC Demus. Okay. Uh, but it could be from just about any CMM, uh, Calypso, or uh, MeasureMax, GeoMeasure, um, Verisurf is, a, okay. is a, a one that we see a lot of. Sure. Um, if I uh, I click yes here and it, it brings in all the results and it automatically highlights in green or yellow or okay. red things that are intolerance, things that are out of tolerance, things that are marginally with intolerance. Okay. So they're, they're intolerance but they're close. Uh, and uh, it's an intelligent uh, matching al algorithm that does that. Uh, if there's something that doesn't get matched up, I can go and match that manually. And it remembers it for next time so that, uh, you know, ostensibly I'm going to be importing from that same CMM uh, every time, and so uh, we'll save the mapping so you, you never have to go through that process again. Right. It's just instant. Okay, so we're talking basically uh, the, the value of this of this software really is um, is productivity rather than somebody have uh, somebody having to manually go through extract the dimensions, create the table, so forth. The software is doing that for them in, in really just a matter of seconds. It's productivity, but it's also standardization. Okay. So oh, for, for the forms, for the output. Absolutely. Okay. Ima imagine that you're a, uh, uh, an aerospace OEM and you've got 5,000 suppliers. And for every part, you may source that to 10 suppliers, right? Um, if you use our software, you can basically create your inspection report uh, such that all of those 10 suppliers are reporting the same uh, gotcha. values against the same dimension. So now you can compare supplier A versus B versus C okay. and, and who's doing a better job. And um, you, mentioned, you, you mentioned AS uh, uh, 9102. Uh, what other standard, uh, let's say, industry forms um, do you guys support? Sure. So uh, just with an aerospace, for instance, uh, in Europe, there's EN 9102. In Asia, SJAC 9102. Uh, we support uh, PPAP. A lot okay. of automotive companies, and actually PPAP is making the jump into aerospace and medical device and oil and gas and many okay. other industries. Uh, so we support the standard PPAP forms. Uh, you know, uh, medical device with the ISO 1345, and uh, you know, uh, we have numerous oil and gas customers that are, but there a lot of them are using the, the PPAP as well. Okay. And one other thing, uh, since uh, uh, you know, you just made me realize. So our software is localized in uh, 14 languages. Okay. Uh, so Japanese, French, Polish. Oh, another thing I just thought of. Um, Italian. Uh, I thought of it when you were, earlier when you were talking. Uh, so this is on the internet. So what about security? I mean, th this is critical company information. We're talking yeah. dimensions on products and CAD drawings. Um, is this, how is this protected? How, how, are, how are people going to be secure? Sure, that's a great question. I'm glad you asked. So, so basically the application, although it's launched from the web for ease of use purposes, your data never leaves your computer. So your inspection plans, your inspection reports, um, the CAD drawings, they never leave your computer. Uh, nothing is sent back over the web. 
The only thing basically is that the application comes down from the web to the, the application follows the user from machine okay. to machine, but the data stays on the local machine. Okay, great. Well, Jeff Cope, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, thanks this for was having a me. Inspection, inspection Expert was the product? Correct. Okay, Inspection right. Expert on Demand for CAD. Okay, Thank thanks. You. Back to you, Mike. Well, there you have it. Dirk Ducharme, our own Dirk Ducharme, joined by Jeff Cope. CEO of Inspection Expert, and together again, they looked at uh, Inspection Expert on demand for CAD. Uh, really good tech corner there. We always like it when we have a, a guest come into the show to join us and uh, be able to uh, to do uh, to do tech corner uh, here in our studio. It's always fun to do that. So Dirk, nice job. Hey, thanks. With no, that this is, is it's interesting. I mean, what we're seeing a lot more of. Um, uh, in, in software, and, and uh, some strictly software tools, also software that work with hardware, it's just a lot more uh, oriented towards, um, I wouldn't call it, uh, productivity, mm -hmm. is, is how can we take these jobs that have been you know, either pencil and paper jobs, or even, even, even if done on a computer, still required a lot of keystrokes, let's mm -hmm. say. I mean, I, I think Jeff mentioned, uh, you know, the drawing we were looked at might have taken him all day yeah. if he had to do it manually, open up the CAD, extract the stuff, put it into a spreadsheet, so on and so forth. Uh, and the idea of being able to do that uh, uh, immediately, and, I, and, I, and if I, I believe if I was right, you didn't have to take all of the dimensions. I, I think that was right, uh, uh, Jeff Wright, is you could select which dimensions you wanted. So you wouldn't necessarily have to extract your entire drawing, have all, you know, 120 dimensions. Maybe for what you're doing, uh, you only maybe have half a dozen dimensions or 20 dimensions that are critical at that particular juncture. Mm -hmm. Well, you could just select those and again, it's just uh, uh, it, within a few seconds you have, you're, you're creating your, your inspection uh, report for your, for your folks. So, Great stuff. yes, good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Well, thank you. Thank you, Jeff Cope again, uh, inspection expert for joining us in the studio. Thank you all for joining us today.